our world there's animals all around And you have questions, can you down? Ranger Ray is here to show By talking to those animal pros With the Critter Calm we see the world A new adventure will unfold You'll become an animal champ Here at Ranger Ray's Animal Camp Hello there everyone and welcome back to Ranger Ray's Animal Camp. I'm your host, Ranger Ray, and today we're uncovering the colorful mysteries of the chameleon. I've always wondered, how do chameleons change their colors? It's a mystifying transformation and one I've never understood. But I think with your help and the help of Crittercom, we can figure this out. So let's head to the Crittercom. So let's go. Well, hey there, Crittercom! What? Who is this Crittercom you speak of? My name is... Uh, Marco. Yeah, Marco! And uh, there is no Crittercom here, just Marco. <laughs> Oops, sorry, my mistake. I didn't know there was more than one computer in here. Crittercom! Wow, I can't believe that actually worked! Hey, wait a minute, Crittercom! Drat. What was the disguise for? That was my, uh, camouflage, so that, uh, you wouldn't find me? Oh, to go along with our theme of chameleons today. Nice one, Crittercom. Yes, that's why I did it. Not to get the day off or anything, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> well, whether you meant to or not, you were right on the money, Crittercom. Camouflage is when an animal uses its colors and patterns to blend into its environment. And the chameleons are the kings of camouflage. And we're going to be talking to one today. So, Crittercom, can you call Crash the Chameleon for us? Yes, of course. Hello. Hey there, Crash. Oh, it's Ranger Ray and Crittercom. Great to hear from you again. Well, thanks for taking some time to talk with us today, Crash. But we have a question for you. How do chameleons change their colors? Oh, that is a great question, Ranger Ray. And it is what we're best known for. Here, let me show you. The magic begins in our skin, Ranger Ray. We have special cells in our skin called chromatophores. Bless you. No, Ranger Ray, I didn't sneeze. That's the name of the cells in our skin. They're called chromatophores. Whoops, <laughs> my bad. Um, so these uh, chromatic tomato fours? Tomato falls, really, Ray? Don't beat yourself up, Ranger Ray. It's a hard word. It's pronounced chromatophores. Chromatophores, got it. And how do they change your colors? Well, inside the chromatophores, there are chemicals called pigments. The chromatophores can change the size of the pigments, which then changes our color. But how do you control what colors to display? Oh, that's the cool part. We chameleons have tiny muscles around our chromatophores. We can control the size of them using those muscles. When we relax those muscles, the pigments spread out and we show brighter colors. But when we flex those muscles, we get darker and the pigments get smaller. Incredible! Chameleons are like walking color mixes! Oh, so that's how you guys change your colors. But then, how do you guys use it for camouflage to blend in with your environment? Oh, well, that's the thing, Ranger Ray. We actually don't. Excuse me? Wait, what? My childhood is a lie! But we just did a whole bit at the beginning of the episode about camouflage. And now you're telling me that chameleons don't use camouflage? Well, I never said we don't camouflage. We just don't really change our colors for that. Our natural colors are our camouflage. We don't have to change our colors at all for that. If you see a chameleon blending in with its environment, chances are that's its natural colors, and it probably isn't changing any colors at all. And sometimes when we move, we use a technique called rocking to help camouflage while we're moving. When we're trying to sneak up on food or hiding from a predator, we rock slowly back and forth. That way we look just like a leaf blowing in the wind. Well, that is all great camouflage. But if you don't change your color for camouflage, why do you change colors at all? It's all based around our mood, Ranger Ray. We change colors to talk with other chameleons, show our emotions, or even change our body temperature. For example, when we're angry or want another chameleon to leave us alone, we turn red or yellow. 
to let them know we're mad. And if we're cold, we can change to a darker color that absorbs more heat so we can warm up faster. So chameleons are like living mood rings. Kids, ask your parents what those are. Wow, this has just been incredible today. Thank you, Crash, for all your help. Oh, any time, Ranger, eh? I'll see you later. So chameleons use chromatophores in their skin to change their colors. And they change their colors not to blend in with their environment, but to show their mood and communicate to other chameleons. That's incredible! Couldn't agree more. Crittercom, what are you doing? Taking a page from the chameleon mood book. I'm communicating my mood to you, Ray. Oh, that's really clever. Wait, doesn't red mean to leave me alone? Nothing gets by you. Uh, you're hilarious. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining us on this adventure today. Remember, stay wonderful and wild, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Ta-ta! <laughs>